Good day, class. I am Sir Gian, and I will be discussing to you a lesson that I'm sure you're all familiar with by now. I want you to look at these sentences first. Just a quicker pressure. Uh, can you r please read the sentence? Daniel, can you read both of them? Uh, yes, sir. Right, I will you. buy a house, and I am going to buy a house. Now, what did you notice with the two sentences? I noticed that the actions are uh, will happen in the future. All both right. of them. Very good. Precisely. So, with that in mind, we'll be discussing the use of will and going to to denote future actions and various other purposes. Yes, let's start, shall we? But first, I want you to read something. Take a look at this dialogue first. Uh, keep it in mind. Internalize it if you want. Uh, Daniel, I assign you to read the lines of A, while Lyra, you shall be assigned the lines of B. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes, all sir. All right, all right. So let's have at it, shall we? Daniel, read okay, so. the first line and follow it, Lyra, until you accomplish the whole dialogue. All right? Yes. Let's start. Yes, let's sir. start. All right. Are you going to come by this Friday? No, but I will be going next month. That's all right. I am going to work on my novel instead. Why are you so busy lately anyway? Just working. I hope that I will be promoted someday. You are going to be promoted, I bet. I'm calling it now. Anyway, I have to go back to work now. I promise I will be coming over next month. All right, then. All right, very good. Nicely read. So, with that dialogue in mind, what do you think was the dialogue about? Lyra, what do you think? I think uh, letter A is inviting letter B to something, sir, but letter B is busy. All right, so an invitation for something. Now, do you think that the action will happen in the future? Daniel? Yes, sir. So, with that, indeed, with that being said, if they are in the future, it does mean that we use will and going to to denote future actions. Now, speaking of will and going to, have you noticed that most of the sentences in the dialogue include the words will and going to? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Indeed, very good. You have a sharp eye and a keen mind to notice that. So, each of those words, each of those sentences have their own uses, and we will be discussing them. But first, I want you to take note of these sentences. Can you find any? Lyra, can you please give me one sentence that uses either of those words? Lyra? Sorry, sir? Can you give me... One sentence that uses either will or going to from the dialogue. Uh, okay, sir. Uh, the first sentence, sir, from letter A. This is one of his dialogue. Are you going to come by this Friday? All right, that's one. Daniel, how about another? Uh, the second sentence used the word will, but I will be going next month. Uh, indeed. How about the third one, Lyra? Lyra? I am going to work on my novel instead. All right, good. Daniel, how about the fourth? The fourth sentence also used the word will, and I hope that I will be promoted someday. All right, and the next one? You are going to be promoted, I bet. That's the next sentence, sir. All right, and we have one more. What is it? Daniel, let's have the last. Uh, right. uh, and the second and the last, I will be coming over next month. All right, good. So we listed 
six sentences. Is that all right? Yes, sir. All right. So here are the six. Keep them in mind. Remember them. Internalize them because these are the words. These are the sentences, rather, that are exemplified that are used as examples, as they exemplify the use of will and going to. So here's the first use of going to. Now, going to is used when we talk of something happening soon. And if we recall from the sentences that we listed, we listed the first, are you going to come by this Friday? Now we used going to now the reminder here the rather the key word here is this Friday meaning it will happen soon it is something that will happen uh, this Friday so by the word this it is close it's close by so we use going to when something is happening soon uh, let's keep no let's take note of the word soon going to soon so that's the first sentence that we noted, right? Are you going to come by this Friday? How about the second one? Let's have the use of will. Now, will is used when we talk about something in the far future. Like in the dialogue we discussed earlier, there's the sentence, I will be going next month. Next month denotes something that will not happen soon. Rather, it will happen in the future or to be precise next month now here is a good uh, here's a rule of thumb to say when we talk about something happening soon it is usually in terms of days weeks or even minutes and hours meanwhile if we are talking about something in the far future it is oftentimes in terms of months or even years or perhaps decades centuries if you live that long Although I doubt that. <laughs> so, soon, going to, far future, will. I will be going next month, as was, as was discussed, as was included in our dialogue earlier. The next one is for going to. Going to is used when we make definite plans. I am going to work on my novel instead. S the speaker, A, in that case would plans on working on the novel instead since his or her friend wasn't able to go or would not be able to go this Friday. So there is already a definite plan in place. Definite. Going to. Take note of that as well. And the next is, the, is another use for will. Now will is used when we are dreaming of something. If you recall from the sentence earlier, or the dialogue earlier, one of the sentences we noted, we found, is, I hope I will be promoted someday. The speaker, or B, in that case, is dreaming of being promoted in his or her work. So, since B is dreaming, he or she should use will in his or her sentence. That's four sentences down, all right? For already, let's have the fifth one. Now, the fifth one is for going to. Going to is used when we predict or expect something. Usually, uh, in terms of predictions, we can have words like I wager, I bet. For plain expectations, it can be a plain sentence with a hint of expectation in it. Like in terms of weather, perhaps. And the sentence that we included in our dialogue earlier is, You are going to be promoted, I bet. Now, the words I bet signify that A, in that dialogue, is expecting or is predicting that B is going to be promoted in his or her job because of his or her work ethic, because of being busy working. So, with that in mind, since A is expecting or predicting B's promotion, A should use going to in the sentence just like this. 
And for the last sentence that we found, usually this is denoted, this is conno or connoted perhaps for connotations, but rather I should use the term denoted since it's more precise, more explicit. The words I promise and I swear, words like that, denote the last use for will, which is for making promises. I promise I will be coming over next month. There's the words. There are the words I promise. So B is promising to come over next month to A. Since B is promising something, he or she used will in the sentence. Now, is that clear, everyone? Uh, Daniel, can you list yes, down the uses for going to? The three uses for going to that we discussed. Uh, yes, sir. First, right. it is used for... Uh stating something that will happen soon, uh, stating uh, definite plans, and, and predicting. Very good. That's correct. You've listened it down correctly. Lyra, how about the three uses for will? First use of will, sir, is to describe something that is going to happen in the far future. Second is for dreaming. And the last is for stating a promise. Very good. It seems that both of you already understand the uses of will and going to. Now let's test that, or rather let's practice that. What sentence will you use when you're dreaming of becoming a professional actor? What sentence will you use? Uh, Daniel, can you give us a sentence for this one? Can you repeat, sir? Can you give us a sentence in the situation? You're dreaming of becoming a professional actor. Can you create a sentence in that context? Uh, yes, sir. Um, I will become a professional actor. Very good. And why did you use will? Because I am dreaming for. Indeed. Correct. Daniel, you're correct. Very good. Thank you for your sentence. I will be a professional actor. I will become a professional actor. Uh, Daniel used will because in this context, he is dreaming of becoming a professional actor, so, and because of that, we use will. As we discussed, dreaming uses will. How about for this next situation? What sentence will you use when you definitely want to watch that movie? Lyra, what do you think? Definite. Yes, sir. Um, based on what we have learned, I'm going to use going to. So the sentence would be, I'm going to watch that movie. Very good. That's correct as well. When we make definite plans, we use going to. Indeed, that's correct. Thank you, Lyra. For the next one, what sentence will you use when you promise your attendance? at your friend's wedding. Promise your attendance. Uh, Daniel, I think you know this one. Um, I will use uh, will. I will attend at your wedding. Thank you. Very good. I will attend at your wedding. Or if you want to be more explicit about it, you can include, I promise I will attend at your wedding. You used will because as we discussed earlier, when we make promises, we use the word will in our sentence. Very good. And for the last one, what sentence will you use when you expect that rain is coming? Lyra. Mm. I think, sir, it has something to do with prediction. Yes. So I guess the right sentence would be I think I expect it is going to... I, I think there is rain coming. Uh, you can rephrase that. Maybe you can turn it into, it is going to rain. Yes, sir. Don't you think? It is going to... Yes, sir. It is going to rain. There, uh... Yes, it is going to rain. You, you are correct in your assumption that this context uses something or as a prediction or an expectation of sorts. So we use going to. It is going to rain. So I see that you you both learned our lesson for today. You know the uses for will. 
you know the uses for going to. Now, once again, as a little pressure before we go, going to is used when we talk about something that will happen soon for definite plans and for predictions or expectations. And meanwhile, will is used when we talk about something in the far future, when we are dreaming of something and we are making promises. Uh, is that clear? Did you all get that? Did you both get that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So thank you for listening. Thank you for our attendance. That will be our lesson for today. You may now leave the class. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.